During the Industrial Revolution, the iron industry allowed the mechanization and heavy industry to start and flourish, which created the need for the steam engine, which powered this machinery and the locomotive, which radically altered transportation forever, and allowed globalization and expanded the power radius of Europe. The backbone of the Industrial Revolution was the iron industry. While it did accelerate the Industrial Revolution immensely, it had horrendous effects on the environment and forests of Europe. Countries that needed coal raised forests for wood, which could be converted into a cheap equivalent of coal, charcoal. England and other European countries became desperate as their supplies of wood became rapidly depleted. For the sake of shipbuilding, the monarchs of England and several other European countries forbade cutting the forests down. Instead, England resorted to using coal from the earth, which was more expensive. The iron industry proceeded to drain even the forests of Finland and Russia. Soon, deforestation was happening everywhere, and everyone was forced to use coal. This led to a decline in quality in the lives of nearly everyone. The new coal power plants polluted the air with a thick black smog that covered cities with dirty black soot. These power plants made cities even more unsanitary. Also, the rural poor, who had long supplemented meager food with forced berries and game, no longer had this recourse, and often were forced to go hungry. The negative effects the iron industry had in the environment, it was also able to produce many useful items that accelerated the advancement of technology. One was the manufacture of weaponry. Cannons and muskets could now be made more easily and quickly, thus guns and manufactured swords, knives, and other blades quickly replaced other weapons from medieval times that were forged one at a time, completely in Europe at this time. Previously, metal had been laboriously extracted by blacksmiths to make items and forge one at a time over an anvil, making the process slow, prices high, and the guilds strong. Also, new and efficient machines could be made with the newly available materials, such as steel, produced by combining charcoal or coal into iron while cooling to create greater flexibility and strength. This m made mechanization profitable and possible. This sped up the Industrial Revolution even further. The steam engine was very important to the Industrial Revolution as it fueled its mechanics. Like iron smelting, it required wood or coal to operate, both of which impacted the environment heavily. The coal or fuel heated water to extreme temperatures in the steam engine so that it rushed along a pipe rapidly to turn a wheel or push a piston, thus converting thermal energy into mechanical energy. The steam engine in its many forms provided the raw power for the factories that required a steady source of it. The steam power enabled machines to run without stopping, allowed locomotives to cross continents, and allowed mechanical devices to have humongous power. It had its drawbacks. It required lots of fuel, had to operate on sometimes dangerously high pressures, and polluted the air with smoke and steam. Accidents could result in horrific, terrible injuries, but despite this, it was used because it was the only power source that was available and profitable. The advances in the iron and engine industries allowed powerful steam engines to fit within a reasonably small size and still be able to power locomotion. This was applied to transportation rather rapidly. Thus, the steam locomotive and its other sibling offshoots, such as the steamship, rapidly altered supply and demand across the globe. Now, companies in, say, Paris could sell their goods cheaply in Germany and Spain. This was the first step towards globalization. Now, other nations started depending on each other for raw or manufactured materials. For example, England and Germany would swap manufactured goods with countries like France and Russia for raw materials like food, ores, or lumber, since they could now trade such things at a reasonable cost. Also, it accelerated the trade of peoples, ideas, and knowledge. Before, books were often expensive not just because they were difficult to produce, but because they were expensive and thus hard to transport from place to place, limiting the spread of knowledge. Now the locomotive accelerated the spread of knowledge and ideas everywhere, since these books and other items were now easier and safer to transport. As Robert Cobden, an industrialist at the time of these changes, remarked to another, If you have anything to say which hits hard, it is a very long whip and reaches over all the kingdom. The iron industry, steam engine, and locomotive had several influences in the world, not all positive. Some of these were increased technological superiority for Europe, a general e increase in the authority and power of commercial forces, and the advances in military power. Europe now led the world, without a doubt, in technological superiority. It alone had the powers of manufacturing and mechanization, it alone had self-propelling vehicles, and it alone had huge factories. This now made it the leader of the world, a position it would keep until the mid-20th century.
the Industrial Revolution saw the rise of a new power in politics and foreign affairs. Commercial, industrial, and monetary interests had a large foothold in politics now, because they were very important for the well-being of the nations of Europe. The third and most ominous advance was the sudden advance in military technology. Now, nations could produce vast numbers of bullets, guns, cannons, cannonballs, swords, and uniforms rapidly. This advance would radically alter warfare and be a source of massive pain to the world and eventually Europe as well.